हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल श्री स्वामीनायन फिजियोथेरापी कॉलेज राणीप अहमदाबाद आई डॉक्टर हिना परमार मास्टर्स इन कार्डियो पलमोनरी ब्रांच लेक्चरर एट श्री स्वामीनायन फिजियोथेरापी कॉलेज अहमदाबाद टुडे अवर टॉपिक इज पॉजिटिव एक्सपिरेटरी प्रेशर डिवाइजेस इन अवर लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन the two pep devices that was the bubble pep and the acapella so in our today video we will see the pep devices are the shaker and the rc cornet device so the third is a shaker device the shaker is contain a high density stainless steel bowl enclosed in a small cone has डी अटेचेबल माउथ मेक माउथ पीस मेकिंग इट इजीयर टू यूज राइट सो दिस इज द शेकर विच हैव डी अटेचेबल माउथ पीस विद द यूज ऑफ दिस शेकर डिवाइस पेप थेरापी डिवाइस वी कैन मोबिलाइज द सिक्रेशन एंड रिमूव द सिक्रेशन टू द लार्जर एयरवेज फोर्थ वन इज द आर सी कॉर्नेट डिवाइस so the rc cornet consists a curved hard plastic tube outer tube of the mouth piece and flexible latex free inner tube so the con- the cornet is placed into the mouth and inspiration is either through the nose or by breathing around the cornet mouth piece this is the rc cornet which have the mouth piece plastic out tube and inner flexible tube it is used with the initial breathe being slightly deeper than the normal and this breathe may be interposed with one or two deeper deeper and then more forceful ones so in the initial phase of rc therapy rc cornet pep therapy patient have to be deeper breath than the normal then after one or two deeper breath for more fold for one a breath hold for 2 to 3 second at the end of inspiration is usually included in the rc therapy then after huffing or coughing is used to clear the secretions mobilization to the upper airways it is recommended for the uh, cornet is used there for 15 to 15 minutes right so total therapy time is 10 to 15 minutes for the rc cornet pep device respiratory therapy device that is rc cornet plus can combat the following symptoms first is elevated secretions of bronchial mucus second is shortness of breath third is chronic cough fourth is frequent respiratory tract infection so with the rc cornet device these all symptoms can be diminished or reduced with the pep therapy device as the patient exhale to the oxidating positive exhalation pressure it will produce a widening the airways and reducing respiratory distress so with the rc cornet device patient can produce oxidating positive exhale pressure or pep pressure it will produce widening the airway so it will open the airways and reducing ex- respiratory distresses that will also reduce air trapping it is also effectively mobilize the bronchial mucus and therapy reduce urge to cough so thereby patient have to reduce more frequent coughing and effectively mobilize the secretions so the entire volume of exhaled air is used to cleanse the airway it has also see also been show to decrease the cohesiveness and viscoelasticity of the sputum from patient with the bronchoectasis patient with bronchoectasis has viscous mucus mu, uh, which have very ha- very high viscoelasticity so with the with the help of rc cornet device we can reduce that viscoelasticity of the mucus now 
instructions for the use of pep devices so how to use pep devices we can see with this slide so patient have to sit up with your back straight and your chin slightly up this position allows your throat to be open so air can move easily without the blockage you may need to put your elbow on the table so this may avoid the slouching and blocking the airways now take a deep breath and hold it for 2 to 3 seconds while you hold your breath place the mouthpiece in your mouth then breathe out in the device do 2 to 3 half or cough after the expiration again take a deep breath and then cough hard to bring up the mucus split the mucus out do not shallow the mucus so you may need to rest then after you may need to rest for 1 to 2 minutes and this cycle should continue for 10 to 20 minutes or until you have to clear the all your sputum so this is the instructions to use the pep devices patient have to sit upright inhale through the nose exhale into the device and then after exhalation do huffing or coughing force expiratory technique so for, for expel the cough thank you everyone for watching this video please like share and subscribe our youtube channel and if any doubts please do comment on comment box thank you